Ah, downtown LA. This is where we at Corridor have called home for about a decade now. And in that time, there's been a ton of changes. You know, we have this super expensive brand new bridge. We have all these businesses opening shop, you know, retrofitting buildings. And as nice as some parts of this area have become, a lot of parts have just gotten way worse. We are bordering Skid Row. The trash problem, it's just gotten worse. How do you even get trash this big? Like, who throws this away? <laughs> There's apparently been an uptick of like actual garbage fires in LA. You can literally see the remnants of a trash fire here. And you can only drive by these piles of trash so many times without just wanting to do something about it. So today we're gonna take a break from our internet centric lives and we're gonna get out there and we're gonna pick up trash. I don't know what the cream is! I've been in the cream! Stop telling me about the cream! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be dressed up as road workers. You know, the old boys from Sector 4, they're the hardest working ones around. You got my porn hours in last month. My porn hours. <laughs> porn hours. <laughs> Pulled me out of retirement. I thought I got all my porn hours in. Now I got my picking hours to get. Son, so let's porn, go. Porn hours are not applicable to trash picking. I thought you guys said <laughs> porn. It's her first day as a Sector 4 boy, so take it easy. She's transferred in from Sector 5, I think. You know, last time we were able to get by with just some janky safety gear, but this time we're going full on. Yeah, this time there, there is a real danger of biohazard and disease, so we are actually taking extra precaution. We got Sam and Ren back to keep watch over us. Sam, the union boss, and Ren, the city councilman. You guys, you guys need to clear that with a broom. We are running behind schedule, hurry up! This whole city's falling apart. There's crime and garbage everywhere. We're forced to do this job. We have no we have no say in it. We're all actually criminals and this is part of our punishment. Let, let's uh let's get official so people know that we are actually a city detachment sector four. It's not official, but we have to pretend that we're actually working for the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted to make it cute. If I'm picking up trash, I gotta make it look cute. With your Prada glasses. <laughs> you have Prada glasses. We have like a truck to like fill up with trash. Hopefully it's like all the trash is accessible with, with wheels. Trash, we're coming to get you. Thank you for showing up today, everyone. This is gonna be a great campaign day. So right now we're just kind of driving around, scoping for some deposits. Dude, oh my God, look at that one. That's a good one. There's a teepee? There's a trash teepee. I, th I think we found a good area here. Oh, we got There's it. There's a deposit. We hit the jackpot, baby. Oh my God, dude. Seeing? This is the mother load right here. Uh, this is too dirty. <laughs> this is that? too dirty for you boys. <laughs> this requires the Sector 5 boys. This is it, boss. Guys, if we can pull this off, I think we can become the Sector 5 boys. Oh, oh man. I'm about to vomit. It smells so bad. This is kind of a taste of what we're going to be dealing with today. I, I, I don't think we're in a, a diabetic hotspot right now. This street. I can't believe how much trash there is here. Oh, dude, look at this croissant. That's like an aged croissant. That's a finely aged croissant. You guys probably don't even recognize this, but there's been like a lot of videos shot right here. Anime Fidget Spinners was shot right here in this little cross section. Back in the early days of my political career, this street was one of wonder, but there was also turtle danger. Turtle <laughs> danger? <laughs> I don't know how any business functions when you have a perimeter of stinking sludge around your building. The great mega city one. What are, what are we really trying to do here? Do you want it to like, do we, you want us to actually get this whole place cleaned? Or do you want us to just make it like look clean? Listen, we need to do whatever we need to do to make it look like we've done something. Are we going to take pictures of you here or like is this going to be... Yes, I was hoping to get some pictures here uh, for the upcoming campaign, as you know. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so please watch out for the bucket of poop. I think we need baggers, we need some pinchers, we definitely need a forker and a shoveler. You guys order a steak bed? Look at all this. Hearing you gag makes me want to gag. So if you could like 
keep it down a little bit. <laughs> We're just gagging and bagging. Gagging and bagging, baby. Gagging and bagging. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bag! Ah, sorry. Dude, and I thought changing baby's diapers was bad. This is like changing the city's diaper right now. Ugh. Sir, don't look. Sir, I you're listened. not gonna wanna look in I there. should've listened. Guys, we got more human remains. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to oh. connect it. <laughs> I'm serious, Nick. Be careful, dude. She's a legit biohazard, though. This bag is full. First bag is full. Good job, everybody. First bag, boss. Good. All right, that's one down. I think, honestly, uh, probably have 100 left to go. I don't know what the cream is, man. I don't know what the cream is. Stepping in the cream. Stop telling me about the cream. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't gagging, you ain't bagging. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> this is pretty tough. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be here. I don't know. It's going to take a while. You know, I tried to get Mr. Councilman over there to get us a skid steer or something uh, with a little more lifting capabilities. Uh, but now he wanted human labor. Work smarter, not harder. We found a cart as part of the trash, and now it's our trash folder. What do you got? Freaking camera bag. Oh, wow. It's nice. I don't know if I want hepatitis from a bag. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, oh, God, get it. Oh, Nick. Open the bag. Oh, oh, God. God. oh, God, Nick. Savage. It's kind of a gross activity. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day today, and it is getting more beautiful by the minute. I need a break. Hey, boss. I think we need a break, but I was is break up. Yeah. yeah, let's hop back in uh, five. I feel like my whole life at Corridor started in this alleyway. The first time I ever met Sam and Nico, we went and filmed the Minecraft video literally right there. The first time I'd ever been to LA was in this alley. Yeah, this is where we shot so many videos, including but not limited to the original Minecraft video. We shot anime fidget spinners back here. We shot Wizard Battle back here. We shot Judge Drone back here. Dude, so we many shot videos. so many videos in this alley and yeah. we haven't been able to film in it for the last few years because every time we come down here, it looks like this. Not to mention, dude, there's some like world-class graffiti art on these walls right here. Yeah. Would you just take this in? Like, look at all this lettering, bro. Once you like shoot videos so much around this area, you kind of start feeling like it's your home a little bit, you know? To see it full of trash like this and just right, it's a shame. left to the wayside. Hopefully we come back and it's still kind of clean. All right, brakes up. Come on. Yep. Back All right. Up. Hip. Up. Yep. Hip. Hip. I hate my life. It's like a never ending stream of trash. There's so many other things I would rather be doing. <laughs> Thank God I have glasses on to protect myself from the street dust. Hey boss, is that truck trying to get through here? I don't know, this is a big f up. They got the Sector 2 boys in on this spot. This is supposed to be our spot, but we gotta bring this truck back here because we're bringing tow trucks around to this side here to pull some vehicles out. Well, I guess we're doing some public good already because these gentlemen came in here to pick up a load of something on a flatbed and the driver had to do a backwards turn into this T alley right here. And there's almost no way he would have been able to do that if that heap of trash had still been there. So it's already helping out people in this area, which is great to see. Like, I'm like a little frustrated because Sector 2 sucks ass, you know, but they're doing some good work. I gotta commend them. At the end of the day, it's all about community. And Sector 2 is helping our community as well. We're uh, making some dents. Uh, we're actually getting further than I thought. I didn't think we were gonna actually clear up this much of it, but everyone's kicking ass. Yeah, one of the reasons it's so important that we're actually cleaning up these trash piles is because there's been a huge surge of trash fires in recent years. So a mushroom wholesale was in this facility, but because of the fires that have happened in the alleyway, that entire business is now shut down and this warehouse is just sitting here empty. This gentleman owns this building right here. That's correct. I appreciate you guys are here. We have uh, three years, we have keep complaining to the city, but city there is no response for this matter. We have bunch of the fire because of this Apparently you have a door that's also jammed. Yeah. yeah. So is it your warehouse? Yeah. And I didn't even see there was a door over here. I didn't say here. emergency door, uh, door. Where can we move the dumpster on the side maybe? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna or, send the forklift over here to, 
put them on the street to so take them out. Okay, okay. Thank you much, guys. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Great job. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Afternoon. Real life side quest just appeared. The most messed up part about this is that this is an emergency door for fires, and there's been three fires back here. There's literally combustible trash piles blocking the fire door. You can't get through the fire door because there's trash blocking it, which literally caused the fire. Big goals right now. Clear Kevin's door. Kevin's then gonna take the dumpsters of a forklift out to the street. Hopefully the city will remove them finally. Is the gate stuck? Boskowski just touched that gate, man. He's not allowed to do that. That's against Union. I don't think he has his gate in hours. I think I, I think I made a big mistake. I just touched something. You, you didn't see me. I just touched the gate. I touched the gate and I pulled it away from the dumpster. I actually did see that, and it was wonderful yeah. to see the Union boss putting in hard pouring hours on a day like this. I mean, I think Sam is obviously the second biggest hero of the day behind me. I just went above and beyond. You know, that's, that's what we call that. It's called going above and beyond. Because I didn't have to do it. Everyone else cleaning up, they have to do this. So they're not going above and beyond yet. So Kevin just got that dumpster towed, but we got a bunch of other crap over here. So let's just finish clearing this out for him. If we're condensing the dry, safe trash into one pile over here, I feel like it can be more easily picked up. Maybe the city would feel less threatened or like it's an easier task maybe to come pick up one pile of like wood and cardboard and old furniture as opposed to like biohazard material. Hey! <laughs> hey. Yeah! yeah. Cool. cool, man. Well, thank you for the cleaning, brother. Yeah, hey, for sure. You, you guys can use it now. Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> for sure, man. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm so impressed and excited to see that now if there is a like potentially catastrophic fire here that they will be able to escape with their lives. And, it's and not just clean, it's too. the streets are safer. It looks way better. I'm happy we did it. I would wear like a like a shower cap next time. But other than that, it's kind of crazy to see what six people can just come out here and do, yet a whole city is just letting it kind of crumble. Here's what I noticed. The moment that we started doing something about it, other people came by to chip in. Yeah. When people see something positive, they want to be a part of it and they want to join in on it. I was glad we were able to come down here and make a dent at this place that we filmed so much of. Little acts of service go a long way. What we're doing here is truly incredible, don't you think? I am so proud of myself right now. I think we're about ready to get those campaign photos. Our citizens are going to be so proud of me. All right, well, everyone make sure you can see the camera. Great. All right, and cheese!